Headshot, baby. I think that's it. I think that's the last one. Where's the insurance kill? Boom! Headshot! Woo! There it is! Damascus. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Look at how long that list is. Call of Duty Mobile Damascus gun skins. The grind is something serious for this and it involves getting every gun on the list that released at season nine or prior. You have to get every single one of those guns gold and to do that, that involves several different kinds of shots, quite a few of them you have to hit with each gun. Headshots, long shots, no attachments, full attachments, hit fire, and then a bunch of different ones for pistols, launchers, on down the list. So this video is gonna cover the most efficient and effective way to get Damascus skins in Call of Duty Mobile. I just got it done on my last stream of the year in 2020, and over the couple of weeks that I've worked on this, I've learned quite a few things on how to do this a little bit more efficiently and how to speed up this process so you're not stuck on shipment, playing hardpoint on that map for weeks or months trying to get these gun skins. All right, so let's go. We're gonna talk about priorities, what to do first, what your loadouts should look like, what game modes you need to be playing on. We're gonna cover everything you need to know for a quick and efficient Damascus grind. Sand is 600 kills with the gun. Dragon is hip fire shots. Splinter is long shots. Tiger is full attachment shots. Jungle is head shots. And Reptile is shot kills with no attachments, right? So we have Sand, Dragon, Splinter, Tiger, Jungle, and Reptile for every gun. It varies slightly, especially with stuff like pistols, launchers, knives. That all, that all is obviously different. But we're going to talk about just guns in the order that we do these in. So first and foremost you want to have the gun leveled now the way that i got these guns leveled and i tried to spend as little time possible leveling the gun by playing it right and i did not enter gunsmith in season nine with a lot of weapons cards i only had like 300 or so i know there were a lot of people that had thousands and thousands and were able to max out a bunch of guns after season nine gunsmith dropped quickly that wasn't me so i'm i'm not the guy that had all of these maxed out i've only been playing since season six and so it, something that I had to really pay attention to was leveling the gun so that I could actually be making progress on the headshots. That's the most important one is leveling the gun to the point where you've got jungle camo unlocked, which is in the mid thirties, 32 to 36 for most guns. And so you want to level the gun until you have headshots unlocked before you really put a lot of effort into grinding for camos. So, how do we do that? Play with the guns in multiplayer. You're going to naturally level the guns you play with all the time. And so those are the ones to start the camo grind with. So you can make some progress on camos with guns that actually have those camos available and open. Now, the second thing to consider is weapons XP cards and how you can get them. Now, you need to be doing the achievements to get every weapons XP card that you possibly can so that you can use those cards to level up the guns. Additionally, you may have some double XP cards still left over and with the new season, we'll have picked up a couple of these as well. These come along with each battle pass. Use these wisely. Never waste a double weapon XP card. They're rare these days, and you want to make sure that you save those up for the opportune time when you're going to be leveling a gun. Do it on shipment, just like we do with all of these, the, the main portion of the camo grind, so that you level that gun as quickly and efficiently as possible. The other thing are these weapons XP cards and how I get them. Now, if you go to the store, go to cards, and then go to buy these weapon XP cards. I never spend COD points on weapon, weapon XP cards. That's an absolute waste of money. But if you go in here and touch the CP, you can get you can get these cards for credits. Now I've got 1,622 credits. And so I'll go up to here and boom, purchase 10 weapon XP cards with my credits. That's all I've spent credits on entirely since the uh, Cardinal Man of War came out. That was the last thing I bought from the credit store. Every single credit I've earned since then has gone to weapon XP cards to support this Damascus camo grind. So get those weapons leveled up with cards if you can. Do the camos for the weapons that you have leveled up already 
first. That will increase your time efficiency massively. You really want to focus on the most efficient way possible with your time to get those weapons leveled up so that you have jungle camos unlocked for that weapon. The no attachment kills come really, really easy and you can knock those out in two games on shipment. So if you have to wait on those, that's fine. But the headshots are what take forever with most of these guns. That is the limiting factor. Only some of the guns had long shots as a limiting factor, but headshots was the big one. So you got to unlock that camo. Once we're into the to the, the, the camos being unlocked, the order that I do these in, I start on shipment and go all headshots. Now, if I already have the no attachments camo unlocked for the weapon, then I'm gonna go with shipment, no attachments, and just go for headshots with no attachments. If you can knock out more than one camo type at a time, that is great. I, I a lot of the time will go for hip fire headshots as well on shipment. You can run in, especially when that hard point's in the middle, they'll be grouped up and spray hip fire, get two, three, four kills, two or three headshots in one engagement like that. So you wanna double down on these weapon camos and knock them out together get two camos for one kill as many times as you possibly can. So I go right into shipment and knock out the no attachment camos and the headshot camos. From there, I jumped straight into long shots. So in my headshots, when I'm about, so let's say for 80 headshots for a submachine gun or 100 headshots, when I have 10 or 15 headshots left, I start working on those long shots. Working on those long shots, you're gonna inevitably get a couple of headshots in there and so i don't want to knock out all the headshots and then go work on long shots i want to double down on camos two camos for one kill whenever possible so you'll see me going for jungle and getting splinter camos going for jungle and getting these dragon hip fire camos all the time that's really important as part of this two camos for one kill whenever you have the opportunity all right so let's talk loadouts i don't go crazy and spend a ton of time researching and trying to find the perfect loadout when I'm grinding camos, I want something that works for the task at hand. So for shotguns, I ran choke for pretty much the entire time. Choke is gonna help with both your long shots and your headshots. So when we look at my shotgun loadouts here, what you'll notice is I've got choke on here and usually I'm going to have the whatever barrel solution extends the range of these shotguns. The biggest problem with shotguns is the short range and the way you have to get into these engagements. It's easy on shipment. It's much harder when you're going for long shots. And so a lot of the time I will throw a choke on the shotgun and an extended mag just so that I have more rounds. Now, obviously, if you're going to be going for long shots you want to run that 500 grain slug but if you check out my platinum shotguns video you'll see i got all the long shots with no 500 grain slug equipped it's absolutely possible while you're still leveling the gun but that's imp an important note for shotgun long shots that 500 grain slug is going to help a lot also a quick tip for shotguns if you can do it when hardcore mode is open long shots are simple one two shots the long shot you get the kill easy easy games easy grind if hardcore mode is open for shotguns now for some other loadouts let's take a look at assault rifles with this loadout really all i'm doing is adding a little bit of range and damage at range adding a little bit of mobility adding some control i run the strike four grip all the time that's probably my favorite attachment for stabilizing the weapon system recoil so that you can get headshots and long shots and have a little bit more precision in your shots it's not a game of milliseconds like it is in competitive or ranked play. It is a game of positioning and shot placement when you're grinding these camos. So I don't go too crazy on the loadouts, but I wanna make sure for snipers, when I'm working on headshots, on shipment kills, I want a really fast loadout like you see here with this Locust. I've got the lightweight short barrel, the skeleton stock, and stippled grip tape. I run the stopping power reload pretty much exclusively here, but I'm trying to speed up the sniper. Now, for snipers with uh, long shots, right? For those, I'm going to change this loadout up completely. I'm going to add the lightweight long or the standard barrel onto the Locust. I'm taking off the skeleton stock. I'm going to add, I'm going to change this stippled grip tape to ADS bullet spread with the granulated grip tape. I'll adjust to get out of the weapon system what I need for the specific types of shots that I'm taking. So I don't get too complex with the loadouts. I'm just picking attachments. As you can see here, 
on the UL736. I've got the compensator to handle recoil, the light barrel to help with my ADS time and movement speed because this is a slow light machine gun. The 50 round reload so I can just spray with this thing. Stippled grip tape again speeds the gun up. So and then my favorite strike four grip for recoil control. So I use these loadouts just to pick attachments that will support the specific type of shot that I'm taking. So I'm not going to go through every gun obviously. I just want to get the general idea across of how I pick the loadouts to make this Damascus camo grind a little bit more efficient. All right, finally some gameplay. Now for our seventh tip, we're gonna be playing our headshot games for all of our weapons on shipment hardpoint. Shipment gives us the most opportunity for kills and engagements, just interactions with the enemy players as often and as frequently as possible. And so it's a small map, it's an open one with very easy square linear structure. And so the way the hardpoint rotation goes, it lets you predict enemy spawn points and where enemy players are going to be running to get lots and lots of interactions quickly. Shipment on hardpoint is the way I played the vast majority of my games on the Damascus camo grind and you'll see most people are playing shipment on either hardpoint or domination just because those two respawn game modes give you the most predictability on where the enemy players are going to be. Now when it comes to getting headshots I did an entire video just on how to get headshots more per game on shipment but for our eighth tip aim high. Aiming high is what will get you the the headshots that you need. You need to just accept the fact that the aim when you're going just for headshots is going to be a little bit more difficult to get the kill sometimes, and that might result in your dying a little bit more often. But just aim high and dedicate yourself to getting those headshots. Stay disciplined. Keep your point of aim at the head, and you know, make sure that your build has plenty of ADS bullet spread accuracy just so that you have the highest likelihood of getting the headshot with each engagement. Now, for shotgun headshots, our ninth tip is aim even higher. The reason why I've included this is because the question comes up pretty often, but I didn't find that it was a major issue as long as I was aiming high enough and really focusing on making sure that the bottom pellets in the spread don't have the opportunity to hit the neck or the chest area. So you got to aim so that your top pellets will go over the head and the center of your aim point is kind of on the top of their head for shotgun headshots. I also did most of my sniper headshots on shipment hardpoint. This is pretty easy. You just set up a loadout that has a fast ADS time and then aim high, aim for the head, and uh, it's, it's pretty simple from there. You can eventually knock them out with a little bit of practice. You see me here with plenty of time to get the scope in, and this is kind of where we can address bot lobbies. These, these lobbies where the, you can tell that the players are bots, they're not actual other players, but they're simple NPC bot players where they don't have a lot of uh, movement or shooting ability, their, their aimbot's not very good, and they follow predictable paths on the map. This is where you can take advantage of this, and I typically found that there were more bots in each game if I'm coming off of a loss, and so sometimes it's actually good to lose these games as long as you're getting plenty of kills and getting all of your shots in. And so, sniper headshots I did on shipment hardpoint as well, and here is where you can see some of those examples, all from about half of one game I got uh, 10 or 12 headshots in in just the second half of a game on shipment now speaking of snipers for sniper long shots I did these primarily on kill confirmed high-rise now the reason for kill confirmed is because if you just don't pick up the tags it extends the game and you get more opportunities for kills and with high-rise I mean at this entire map is long long linear lines a easy long areas where you can find these long shot opportunities and when there are more bots in the lobby there are more bots in the game they typically run right down the center of the map so it's pretty easy sometimes you have to get close kills like that to defend your position but then there are a lot of bots running right down the center of the map where you can get long shots in most cases so they run right through that hallway across the map on high rise and you can get those consistent long shots 
Another place that I did long shots for sniper rifles was on Frontline on Crossfire. Now this was an effort to break up the pattern and maybe play a different game mode on a different map so I didn't get too bored or too monotonous. Now on Crossfire, they will come for you in your sniper position. So you need to be an active sniper and have a melee weapon typically be ready to defend your position. You can see in this game, I was getting consistent long shots down the center of the map, but I had to constantly deal with this one player that was trying to come up behind me and I mean six or seven times in this game I had to defend my sniper position by pulling out the ice axe and axe in this dude so that I could continue to hold up this position here at the top of crossfire and get long shots across the map this was my favorite position to break up the high-rise kill confirmed game mode and was a consistent producing game mode for sniper long shots this part of the camo grind really went pretty quickly for me and I didn't have major issues other than people trying to kill me in my sniper position constantly but hey it's an opportunity if you need to to level up the knife and get those melee kills speaking of long shots our next tip tip number 12 for the video is that i did all of my long shots for assault rifles and most of my long shots for submachine guns here on rust domination this spot in the corner behind this container gives you a look at both b and c points and both b and c points are long shots for every submachine gun and if you back up just a little bit you can make sure that every shot you take is a long shot with assault rifles so this is definitely the spot to get your long shot sometimes you might have to fight your way there especially if your spawn point is on the other side of the map but once you're there if you hold the position down you'll get this side spawn for your team and you'll be able to pick off enemy players at long distance as they feed in to those B and C points on Rust domination. This is frankly not a bad spot to hold down when you see Rust in ranked play either now. So this spot behind the containers over here in the corner where you have visibility of both B and C points is the spot for long shots. And people are onto this position here. They'll absolutely contest you but you just have to have things set up, you know, maybe run with your trip mine, have a shock RC ready and, uh, and be able to defend and hold down the position because you see here, I got challenged quite a bit in this position, but if I could get those kills quickly and handle my business in the corner here, then I was set up to continue getting long shots every time. You see, I'm running the gold SMRS while I do this because I'm working on SMRS Diamond. If you're working on your launchers, to get them gold as well, you want to run them in the secondary spot so you can take out those UAVs as you play. So that about does it for long shots. I did SMGs here and ARs here, but this position does not work for light machine guns. You need a little bit more distance for light machine guns. And so we'll get right into that. Our next tip is light machine gun long shots on high rise. I did light machine gun long shots from the helicopter platform here on high rise. You can see that as I see enemies and engage enemies, as long as I've got a diagonal across the map in any way, it's going to be a long shot kill. Now they approach the platform quite a bit and you're going to have to get kills up close when they come up the stairs or that just aren't quite far away enough to be long shots. But pretty consistently as you see people spawn here and come into the middle of the map, especially if you get bots in the game you'll get a lot of long shots from this platform so i did this with even some of my assault rifles just to break up the monotony of of what i was doing with rust long shots and assault rifles and so this is a good spot for long shots and has enough distance so that you can get light machine gun long shots consistently now it's also good to run some defensive things here you might want to have your trip mines out you might want to have a defender shield or something to to be able to hold your position up top because people will absolutely contest it and you definitely need to be moving around and proning often up here because there are snipers on this map consistently and you will get picked off from the helicopter platform so run around that helicopter use it for cover you can see sentry guns placed have lots of field of view here on this map 
map. And so you need to do what you can to take out those score streaks so that you can stay up on top of this helicopter platform unbothered and get your long shots. Now, shotgun long shots are difficult and frustrate quite a lot of people. And the way that I got mine done was from the top platform here on Rust. I played on Domination as well as several other game modes. And really, it doesn't matter much. As long as you can play on Rust and get to this top platform, you should be good to get shotgun long shots. I did this in detail on my YouTube video on Platinum Shotguns, where I talked about and gave examples of getting this with 500 grain slug and with regular rounds. It's completely doable. You just have to have some patience get up to that top platform and hold your position and then look for the enemy spawning and, and running around out in the open so that you can get those long shots. And remember to use that choke attachment in your shotgun loadout for these long shots. Something else that I thought was helpful is I did some of the hardest guns first. So the FHJ and the SMRS were gold really early in the process. I think I got those gold before I even started the deliberate grind. And then shotguns was first in the order of things to start working on, but I didn't get shotguns to platinum until after several other weapon sets. I started them early and I kind of picked away at the shotguns as I went so that I didn't have to do all of those shotgun long shots all together. That would have been horrible. All right, that's it. I got Damascus, got it done on the stream. I was really excited about it. Check out some of my other videos if you wanna get better at Call of Duty Mobile and catch the stream at trovo.live slash mod six. Thanks for watching. Mod 6 out.